Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Very quickly before getting into your reading Aquarius, I want to let you guys know that we have merch available now. You'll be able to find that information on the description box below. You'll be able to find backdrops, coffee mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather we've been experiencing. Uh, you can find all of that on my store. So now moving on, let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. In regards to communication with the element of air, you have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands definitely talks about um, communication. Uh, there's going to be a lot of communication needed for the month of August for you Aquarians. And this has particularly to do with love and romance. So for a lot of you guys, there's going to be a lot of misunderstandings or pride getting in the way, uh, not really being able to, you know, be able to see eye to eye with your partner. This could have, um, this could have to do with many different things, but with the two of wands, there is a need for both of you to come together and for a higher understanding to see things on a clear perspective or a broader perspective know and understand that there is in order for you guys to be able to progress there is need for you guys to communicate and have open communication which is very important now you do have here the three of cups and the three of cups is in your finances so for some of you Aquarians uh, perhaps a couple of months have been extremely busy for you guys you guys have been overworked and tired or overwork to the point of exhaustion. But I feel that August for a lot of you guys, I'm hearing vacation. So for a lot of you guys, there's going to be time um, to, you know, actually go on vacation, take some time off of work. For some of you guys you, that have put in your vacation time and you're waiting on that supervisor or that higher um, manager to actually sign off on your vacation, you're definitely getting feedback for this month of August in regards to that. And finally, your vacation time is given to you. Now, the Three of Cups can also represent having the need to be more social and to expose yourself and be more out there. Don't be too much of an introvert for the month of August because there is a need for you guys to socialize a little bit more. Uh, very important for you guys. Now, you do, f I, I want, I do want to mention your um, Saturn is in your 12th house and the 12th house has a lot to do with, again, spirituality and um, becoming more self-aware and awareness expanding uh, through this process. It is not very, um, it's not rare to see a sign become a little bit more of an introvert and it has a lot to do with the fact that you're kind of more comfortable or you're feeling more comfortable being around yourself than to be out and about with a bunch of people but there is a need not to forget to be social you guys it's very important because it you know keeps your vibration high um, it keeps you positive a lot of the times being in complete solitude is not such a good thing especially when you are uh, overthinking or overanalyzing situations from the past that you could no longer change. Uh, things have happened the way they've happened. It's what's done is done. It's time to let go and move on. And again, like I said, uh, being in complete solitude definitely could bring you a little bit down in regards to that. So definitely be more outgoing for the month of August, even if you have to shake yourself off the couch for a little bit. Definitely do that. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of August, again, you do have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is feeling amorous, but as a challenge, it definitely represents um, not, being in, not being comfortable with becoming emotionally available or wanting to express your emotions and what you're thinking and how you're feeling. And that's going to be the challenge for you for the month of August with the Three of Cups here also. Uh, there is a need for you to... Um, be open, you know, speak up, don't hold things back. The more you suppress things, it becomes like a volcano until it completely erupts. So again, uh, speak up for the month of August, um, whatever it is, whether this is in regards to your finances, whether this is, um, you know, asking for a raise because you've been busting your ass at work, definitely don't, don't hold back for the month of August in regards to that. Anything to do with communication, be as clear, as concise, and as straightforward as possible for the month of August. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you do have the Eight of Swords. So for a lot of you guys, there is or has been a feeling of stuckness on not being able to move forward. But I feel that it has a lot to do with things from the past. 
you do have the Ten of Wands here, and the Tens are always endings. So there is a refusal of an ending, or you're not wanting to let go of certain attributes from, <coughs> excuse me, uh, letting go of certain attributes from past relationships or even life lessons that you've learned in past relationships. Try the best you can not to hold people accountable for things that other people or ex-partners have done to you. Um, yes, it was sad, it was hurtful, and it was difficult, but you learn from it and let go of that. Once you're able to release that, uh, you're not carrying on that to the next relationship because it will greatly affect you. I know Aquarians could sometimes come off as people that are very standoffish, very awkward when it comes to relationships. And it has a lot to do from early childhood. So again, I highly encourage you guys, whatever it is um, that you experience at, at a very young age or even in past relationships where there was betrayal or there is some type of hurt, um, let go of that you know we need to come to terms and understanding that when people hurt us there is no point in us holding on to that anger to that animosity to that grudge because ultimately at the end of the day people will continue living their life and you're the only one that's left regretful angry pissed off and just a very bad negative type of energy person or soul and ultimately you're not happy that's that's not that's not that's not who you are, Aquarius. So it is very necessary to shake that off. Do not stick to pride. Let go of pride. If for those of you guys that have children or there's children involved with this page of uh, cups, there is a need to put your pride aside. Do not try to go out of your way to make it uh, more difficult for your ex-partner or, you know, your baby uh, baby mama or, you know, baby daddy, um, do not go out of your way to make it more difficult for them because ultimately you're not hurting them. You're hurting the child that's involved or the children that are involved. So again, there is a need for you guys to grow up and mature, learn from past experiences. There's definitely going to be, um, I want to say there's going to be this uh, major transformation happening for Aquarians by the end of this year. So again, I highly encourage you guys to not a fight with the changes uh, or the shifts that are happening at the present time. Surrender to the process so you guys can come out and see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.